Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Amazon. Well we've got to uh, the location described oh we go that way. Described in by the save file as Le Village. Um, and I, I think if I remember correctly the only thing we could do interaction wise in the hydroflot is pick up the egg. At least I assume that's what the hand's gonna do. I mean that is a big that's a big egg, right? That would like that's the size of a human torso, I think. Um, so that's going to be difficult to carry around uh, with anything else. That's going to be a challenge. Oh, we can interact with the disc slot, but we okay. So uh, unfortunately, that means we might have to interact with the hydro slot a bit more. I was kind of hoping after last uh, episode's uh, misadventures that there you go. Oh, we can put it back potentially. We can put it back. Yeah. Well, let's take the egg for now. As it seems to be uh, pocketable. Um, yeah, I was hoping that we kind of uh, got done with the uh, the whole mechanism of the hydroflot, and we could actually interact with um, some kind of different environment in a in a perhaps a more pleasing way. Now this boardwalk seems to run this way and this way. That seems to be towards this dam. Oh, uh, okay, we've got. A, Alright, yeah, no, we've got to sail on, haven't we? Okay. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that it's animated. Oh, you can touch it, but it doesn't like you. But you can't use anything with it. Is that. That's the snake, too, okay. Um, well, that's interesting. Okay, that's a bit different. Uh, we can go. There's a. Right, so there's belt drives for whatever that is, okay, and down here there's a ladder on this scaffold. Um, the device goes all the way back here, I don't think I can interact with it, no, um, we'll go up here, and have a look. Uh, right, I can't seem to climb any further. I mean, I've got so I've got like an aerial view of these wheels here, but I don't seem to be able to interact with those. So I'm guessing we need to do something the other end first, probably. We can't do anything here, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I think. Um, Alright, so what's this way? Okay, I mean, it looks like we're heading into a village, so um, I, I almost dread to think what we're going to find when we go here. <laughs> oh, laughter of children, that's not creepy. Um, Alright, looks like a, that could be a human skull mounted on a few sticks, so I'm a, a little concerned about the situation. Oh, it's, a, it's an abandoned structure, so it's not... I can go to that portion, or further down there, or... Okay. Not sure whether that's multiple bridges for one hotspot or not. Uh, but let's move this way. Right, anything to interact with here? Skeleton? Why? Hmm. Okay. So, can I... I mean, I am rather concerned that this seems to be an abandoned structure with um, with corpses in. That's uh, disconcerting. I um, this is part of the machinery. 
Again, we're interacting with machinery and not people. Alright, let's something to look at here. Oh god. Um right. Thing steam, thing go up, thing go down, point to thing, water point comes through bamboo. Uh this thing go here. Some kind of counterweight. Alright, I don't I can't get the bottle of vodka or the uh tinder box or the cigarettes or the compass, unfortunately. Um so th I mean, I I'm not really sure what what we're looking at here. Oh, okay. This is just a way out into the. Okay, I don't want to go out into the forest again. Yeah. Well, this is actually quite a big area then compared to what we've we've um, interacted with so far. Great. That that slow zoom in there did did nothing for me, I'm afraid. Just slightly comical. Um, Alright, there's a trough. Well, okay, so this is part of machinery. This looks like this relies on water. So far I just have an egg. Um, can I put an egg in there? That'd be fun. Can I put the egg there? No, it's not the okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I feel like this. So this needs water, probably. This looks like this would convey water, or maybe something in fine particles. Um, and is perhaps part of the wider machinery. I can't quite tell. Okay. All right. Well, there's something in this hut by the uh, comical zoom skeleton. That you can interact with, and then there's another. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to think, have we come round enough to where we came in yet? I do. Uh, I do think this has a like a good foreboding uh, atmosphere to it, so I'm uh, definitely impressed by that. But I also think kind of the, the lack of context for why. This is so mysteriously abandoned. Is um, I don't know. It feels like it's something outside the scope of the narrative that we should be looking at. Oh, okay. So we just get like a still here of this stone that leads into this bowl. So this is also part of the apparatus. I assume. Oh, we could do something with the hopper, uh, but not put an egg in it. So yeah, this speaks to me of either a liquid or um, a solid in fine particles that would have kind of a liquid motion to it. Uh, but again, like, not, I haven't picked, been able to find anything else that I can pick up, so I'm not really sure what the game is um, intending for me to do here. Um, because I, I kind of wasn't expecting there to have been, uh, I don't know, like a potential genocide here. Oh, there's something about eggs. What? Wingsuit? That looks like a wingsuit, doesn't it? Uh, that looks like the volcano, probably, and that's like a winged figure. And this is the egg with a bit inside it, and then give the egg to this person and then I'll put a stick in it for the fertilization so these are people who have traditions based around the, the eggs and the white birds um, okay but is this so is this what is this area then because it seems like there's several threads of puzzles potentially okay we're close to the central Pole. Is there anything that we can do here? Not necessarily. Um, oh, that. What is that? Oh, that might be some. Is this. This looks very familiar. Is this adjacent to 
where we started off. It is. Okay, so if we go this way, this is where we found the... Yeah. Okay, so we have gone all the way around. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so we must have seen those before already. Can we do anything with this? Um, no, we can't get close to that plant material. Okay. Um, can we look at this from a different angle and get anything out of it? This is kind of the same angle, isn't it? We go over here and then try and go over here. Uh, no, you just end up in the same place, which is a bit weird. Right, where was the hut with a door to the back? No, that was an apparatus hut. Um, it was quite close to where we started off, wasn't it? So that was... Oh, no, it's Comical Skeleton. There you go. Comical Skeleton. No, it wasn't. That was where Apparatus was. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so before Comical Skeleton. So this one? Yeah. Okay. Right, anything around here? It doesn't really look like it. It looks more like scenery. So we can go this way. And then... I'm going to get lost again, aren't I? Okay, so that's definitely back to the hut. There should... Oh, I say there should only be one way, but there's two ways, isn't there? Let's go this way. And I'm just going to keep pointing forwards. Ish. Oh! I'm shaking a tree. I got a... Uh, a fruit of some kind. I'm not sure uh, if I know what that is. I know this... Um, game is aiming to be multilingual so it's trying to use as little uh, language in its interactions as possible um, but I feel like a great more depth and nuance could be achieved with the implementation of you know localized language for say like items to give them kind of a little bit of history and context I suppose you get a bit of that from the, um, the letters, but... I feel like it's not really integrated into the, the body of the game. It's almost like... Oh, I can get some of that as well. Uh, almost like um, kind of a silent movie. A weird... playing through a weird silent movie. Right, I've got more crafting resources. This has now become a, a survival crafting game, apparently. Okay, we're in, we're in caves. This is, yeah, this is definitely a, um, quite an interestingly um, expansive area. Right? This is bizarre, isn't it? So this, yeah, this is probably more akin to... Is that a ring of anything, or is it just... I think we just need to head towards the ladder, don't we? Oh, it's just stone, I think. There's a little thing there. Oh, it's a little rat! Hi! Um, yeah, I'd say this is more... Oh, brilliant. Look at that animation. Budget. Uh, <laughs> having been spent. Okay, so then we emerge here, which is... on the other side of the... boardwalk? I don't know. Um... Yeah, uh, I think I keep inter interrupting myself there, but I think this is more akin to the lighthouse section we had at the beginning, where there were kind of multiple directions you could go, and you had to kind of work out the intentions and the mechanisms. It feels more like that. Okay, this, right, there's a little... Oh, this is a different boardwalk entirely, I think. Right, I turned a wheel, that's good. Okay, well that seems to be the end of this path. I can't really do anything else here. So that's presumably let some water into or out of somewhere. And now I need to go back to the village? I, yeah, I guess I'll go to the village. Because it's, uh, it's probably only one way through any of this. We'll go back to the village and we will have a look to see... If anything's moving, does this? Uh, 
Now that that's the wheel we turned there, I think. Um, but I don't know if. I don't know how to put this stuff into context. Is that the um, like the weir gate that we're trying to open where the snake is? I guess it could be. Um, and that's oh, okay. Oh right. So we've done one thing because this white bird is rotating on the on the dial here now. Oh, unfortunately, I didn't animate the shadow for it. Oh, I suppose I did on the actual pillar itself, but not on the ground. I feel like it should be on the ground. Um, well, let's have a look at uh. Old Laughing Boy's uh, machinery. Oh, it's working. Okay, so it's hydro powered. Um, what does it need? Does it need these fruits? No. Does it need these flowers? Apparently it does. Okay. Fantastic. Um, does that mean there's an end product here? I guess it does. And this is. No, it's not going to tell me what that is, but it's a bowl of something. So then, if we head over to... Oh, I like that we do get a different angle here. That's nice. Um, the room with the other machinery, which I think might be that one. Is it this one? Yeah. So is this working? Oh, gosh. Yes, it is. And it's uh, quite hammersome. Right, so I think we'll be able to pick something up there, won't we? Uh, once we've hammered it, uh, but I'm, oh, I guess we probably need to go to the hopper, don't we, and put the fruit in the hopper? That'd be my guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we get an animation. Look. Yeah. Smash. Oh, so we get some milk of the. I mean, was it like a young coconut? Is that what a young coconut? I don't know. We've got, we've got something. So we've got some liquid. We've got some herbage. Um, I have no idea what we're supposed to do with these things. Um, tempt a snake with them. Right, so those I think those were the only two pieces of machinery in this place. As far as I can tell. As I remember, that was the information about the white birds. Visual information. Oh, hang on! I just saw a person. Right, there's a person there, right? I'm not hallucinating. Well, let's go talk to this person. Hi. Au revoir. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um. Right. Would you like some of this? Some of this? No? Would you like some of this? Would you like some of white egg? Ah, ovo. Yeah, ovo. Uh, and then would you like some of this? Chico. Uh, yeah, apparently you did. Some of this? Manga. Great. Oh. Okay, I didn't uh, quite follow that, but we need something. Okay, we've we've met a living person who's um, not doesn't immediately die after we interact with them. So that's I'd say that's a net positive. Um, I say head back to the Hydroflot and see uh, if there's anything else, anything that's changed or anything that we see on the way that looks relevant.
Right, so that's still down. Um, snake's still there. Um, so I don't... Yeah, so whatever powers this is not functioning. I don't know that there's anything to interact with here either. Which is... Interesting. Um, right, so that's kind of the end of that. I suppose what we ought to do is we haven't read to this part in our um, our journal, so let's get to there because that might have a vital piece of information in it. Okay, there's the snake. Seventeenth of February, nineteen thirty-three. We set up camp in one of the many inlets that stretch along the river. Eighteenth of February, nineteen thirty-three. My guide deserted me during the night, 19th of February 1933. I have reached the falls of the Amazon. 22nd of February 1933. I glimpsed a native village in the distance. I hesitate to establish contact with these Indians. I think that it is their approaching presence that made my guide run away. 23rd of February 1933. A strong fever has been racking me since the middle of the night. I am too weak to get up. My senses are progressively deteriorating. 28th of March 1933. The positive development of my illness now permits me... Oh, in the sense that it has gone away. Uh, now permits me to resume the course of this logbook. The inhabitants of a strange village who use apparent who are apparently devoted to a form of worship that still somethings me, escapes me, have taken me in. They are peaceful Indians who survive on hunting, gathering, and on honey, which they consume in great quantities. That they eat a lot. I mean, that's what they mean. That's what consuming great quantities means. Translator. Um... Yeah, some lovely drawings. 15th of April 1933. I must admit that I am quite proud to have brought these Indians a few rudiments of civilization. I have made them understand that waterfalls can. Oh, so you made all this. Well, that. So I'm fighting Valenbois every step of the way, basically. I have made them under understand. The waterfalls can be a great source energy, and that the laws of mechanics and physics can tremendously improve their lives. With their help, I have developed various pieces of machinery that will free them from their daily constraints. Indian village, the uh, Ovavalaho tribe, mechanism with counterweight to climb the falls. Oh, okay. So that oh right. So if I can sail into that, then I get up, can get up to the top of the falls. Well, that's very impressive. Um, so that might be how we get to the mountain. Mechanism to climb falls at the controls at dawn. At the controls at dawn. Point to this wheel that we've turned. Filling the boat with counterweight. Filling the boat with counterweight. Hauling towards the marsh. Mm. Mm. So the sketch that's on that table is that one that Van Bois left there sixty years ago, and he left his compass and his vodka bottle. And so I don't, I can't quite conceive of how this is operating. Moving towards the marsh. I feel like that should... Oh. No. Okay, I feel like there should be more to, to that. Uh, judging from the primitive painting that I was able to see village, a young Ovavalaho Indian boy must go through a fearsome initial rite in order to enter into adulthood. A teenage boy must set off alone towards the volcanoes in the Amazon, seize the egg of a white bird, and they take it back to the village. As soon as the priest has finished the sacred 
ceremony, the young man has to take the egg back to where he found it so that it may hatch under good conditions. Uh, 2nd June 1933, I took, or, took leave of my hosts at dawn. Thanks to the mechanism that I had devised to climb the falls, I succeeded in taking my boat up the falls and then, with a complementary system, beat the torrential current and in so doing, I reached the place where the river settles down and loses itself in the marshes. Um, I'm mean, looking forward to seeing the webfoot giraffe, but I think we've gone beyond this, the remit of the puzzles that we're trying to solve now, so I'll leave it there for now. Um, well, I don't know. I, I, we'll leave the episode there. I'll give. Oh, I can see the falls. I'll give it some thought as to what we might need to do because we've run out of interactable objects that we have found. Um, and yeah, next time we'll see if we can come up with anything else. Until then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>